I'm gonna take this $100 bill and go buy a $100 hamburger. Hi friend, my name is Kay and I will be your pilot on today's flight. We are flying my 1968 airplane named Low Red from Sugarland Regional Airport over to College Station or Easterwood Field here in Texas. We filed for 6,000 feet and we'll be in the air for a little less than an hour. However, once we land, we're gonna taxi directly to the restaurant to enjoy a $100 cheeseburger with a twist. So stay to the very end, jump in and let's go. Sugarland Airport information, Papa 1553 Zulu weather, wind 0406, visibility 10, sky clear, temperature 17, dew point niner, altimeter 3028. RNAV runway 17 approach in use, bird advisories in effect. Notice the air emissions, radio altimeters are unreliable. Glide slope runway 35 out of service. Construction east of taxiway Mike and north of taxiway Delta. Advise you have information, Papa. Good morning, Sugarland Grand Cherokee 773 in November. I'd like to pick up IFR to College Station, please. Cherokee uh, 7738 November, Sugarland Ground clear to College Station Airport via radar vectors. Climb and maintain 2000. They expect 6,001 zero minutes after departure. Departure control frequency 123.8, squawk 4226. Okay, clear to call station via radar vectors. Climb maintain 2000, expect 6000 within one zero minutes. Frequency 123.8, squawk 4226 for 38 November. Turkey 38 November, read back is correct. Okay. Runway heading 170. Frequency all chain 4226. And parting from to College Station. Got it in there. Grand Cherokee 773 in November, holding short of Echo Information Papa, ready to taxi. Ground Mooney 55 Fox Trot Fox Trot, clear the runway, going to uh, the terminal. 255 Fox Fox, turn left, taxi to the ramp. 5 Fox Fox, left to the ramp. Sugarland Grand Cherokee 773 in November, holding short of Echo Information Papa, ready to taxi. Turkey 773 in November, runway 17, taxi via Echo, Alpha, and Mike. 17, Echo, Alpha, and Mike, 38 November, thank you. Okay, we're taxiing to the runway, but the clearance that we just picked up is our IFR. I filed on the iPad before jumping in the airplane, and now we've just confirmed with air traffic control. They know our destination airport, the route we're gonna fly, the altitude, our frequency after takeoff, and we've been given a squat code so they can keep an eye on us while we're flying. Ground, fill out a 446, four, Charlie, turning left here at the end, going to Global Select. Number 446, four, Bravo, Charlie, Sugarland, ground turn left, taxi to the ramp. Left, left turn, taxi to the ramp, approach. We just pulled into the run-up area, so we're gonna do a quick check of the entire airplane and make sure we're safe to fly before we ever leave the ground. Okay, brake set, fuel proper tank, 25 to 25. Uh, Rim for takeoff. What you meant by that, so you're really meaning a vacuum, okay. Good. Flight controls. Are free and correct. Instruments. Airspeed zero, blue over brown, wings are level, ball is centered within 75 feet of field elevation, HSI. Lines of magnetic compass within 10 degrees. All engine gauges coming up into the green. Looks good there. Mixture is best power, primer in and locked, and RPMs 2000. Right magneto looks good. Back to both, back to 2000. Left magneto looks good. 
Back to both in 2000. Carpete on. No big red X's. Carpete off. Looks good. Power to idle to ensure the airplane continues to run. Excellent. RPM's right back to 1,000. Flaps R0, electric fuel pump on. Mixture best power. Carb heats off. Pedo heats off. HSI still lines the magnetic compass within 10 degrees. Doors latched. Windows closed. Transponder 4226. Landing light on. Strobes on. Time is currently 10.40 a.m. Switching to tower frequency. 123.8 for departure frequency. Awesome. Everything looks great. Sugarland Tower, Cherokee 7738 November, holding short 17, ready for departure. Cherokee 7738 November, Sugarland Tower, hold short runway 17. Holding short runway 1738 November. It's very busy here today. We currently have one, two airplanes on final and another one that is about to turn final. So might be sitting here for a minute, but that's okay. It's a beautiful day. 65 degrees outside, so I'm a happy camper. One now, Cessna 8 Mike Alpha, you're number two now. Number two now, 8 Mike Alpha. Perfect. Sugarland Tower, Cog 170 Sierra Juliet, confirming left traffic pattern. That's a 7 Sierra Juliet, fly runway heading. Flying runway heading, 17 Sierra Juliet. 295 Victor Tower, runway 17 clear to land. Number two, the Cessna's on a one mile left base. All right, number two, clear to land, uh, uh, one seven, we got the traffic, time by Victor. Cherokee three eight, November tower, expect to go. Expect to go, seven seven three eight, November. All right, parking brake is released, all gauge is still in the green, everything looks good. Cherokee three eight, November tower, on departure, fly runway, heading climb, maintain 2000, runway one seven, clear for takeoff, Cessna one mile final. One seven, clear for takeoff, fly runway, heading climb, maintain 2000, three eight, November, thanks. This four one Yankee left there at Alpha 3, taxi park, mark ground point four. I left on Alpha 3 to park, I marked your ground. Four one Yankee, thank you. Raven 8 tire traffic, Cessna 172 on a one mile final, expect to go Beautiful. behind him. Raven 8, Roger, be look at now. Full power. All gauges in the green, airspeed is alive. Maintaining center line. Make a uh, left close traffic, report left downwind midfield. Rotate. Left close traffic and report left midfield downwind. 170 Juliet. Yes. So, Papa, I'll throw left downwind midfield for 170, touch again. Uh, 7 pop out the tire, Mooney 12, 12 o'clock there in a mile, runway 17, clear for the option number 3. Uh, clear for the option number 3, uh, 7 pop out Raven 8, contact, maintain visual, behind. Raven 8, tire rider behind, the Cessna 172, taxiway Mike Delta, clear to land, taxi to park. Additional traffic is the Mooney in behind the Cessna. Raven 8, roger. 29.5 Victor, I got a helicopter about a half mile west of the airport. Be crossing uh, the north side of the runway to the east side. 9.5 Victor, got it. And Raven 8, got the moving also. Raven 8, tower cop, thanks. 93 November, contact use and departure. Over to departure, thanks, 3 in November. Good morning, Houston departure, Cherokee 773 in November, checking in, heading 170, climbing through 1100. Cherokee 773 in November, Houston departure, radar cut, uh, Ident. Ident, 38 November. 38 November, radar contact, uh, maintain 2000, turn right, heading 270. Maintain 2000, heading 270 to the right, 38 November. DPS 112, contact tower 118.4. Over to tower 184, DPS 112. Electric fuel pump off, fuel pressure remains in the green, landing light off, everything looks good. Autopilot on, heading mode active, and continue to climb about 120. 
for uh, Niner Tango Lima, what's your destination? Traffic here, 800 feet above me. Uh, sorry, what did you say? Pleasant Senate, we'd like to put your ex on uh, request. Yeah, but we can't understand you. Where, and he's in sight. To where? What's your Perfect. destination, please? Pleasant Papa Echo Zulu. What's the encore heading for there? At 265, five is left. And just like that, we're officially on our way. Now, as you could probably tell, the takeoff was a little bit bumpier than I anticipated, but that's what the winds do, so it's all good. Air traffic control seems pretty busy, so I have a feeling there's going to be a ton of radio calls. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. It would seem I was wrong. Apparently, we're just going to get a bunch of stone cold silence. I'm just kidding. If you missed what the pilot said, he actually let ATC know his radio wasn't working, so he's currently switching to another frequency. November 4, Delta Sierra, which flight plan are you going to be working first? Uh, it's 351 for Delta Sierra. Station. I maintain 4,000 direct call at station 3 in November. Thank you. Wow, it is a busy day here in Texas. Nice. All right. Gonna level off at 4,000. Sierra contact Houston departure 126.67. I did file for six, but we'll see if we get that a little bit later. 633 Whiskey Sierra contact Houston departure 126.67. 126.67633 with you, Chair. There are three Niner Tango Lima contact, Houston, center 128.6. 286 today. Uh, so 4,000 feet, CHT looks good, all gauges in the green, gonna lean it out a little bit. Houston approach, Altimeter 3029. Wait for that engine roughness. There it is. And enrich it slightly. RPM is about 2,600. Looks good. About 11 gallons or so per hour. Not too shabby. So we are currently at 4,000 feet. I did file for 6,000, so I am hoping that we're going to be able <laughs> to continue that climb. I'm going to turn them down just a little bit. Uh, super easy takeoff. Airplane is running great. We are going to get our $100 hamburger, so I'm very excited to be doing that with you guys. And honestly, it just feels good to be able to get out and about. So I'm currently going 134 miles per hour. Yes, my airplane is configured in miles per hour, so that is what I use. And everything is looking really awesome. Definitely very busy today, for sure. But that's okay. It's good experience. I did file an instrument flight plan too, because that's just how I prefer to do things. But just a per personal preference. <laughs> So I am direct call at station, so I'm just going to go direct to here on the iPad, and that'll take me from wherever I currently am and give me a straight line over to the destination airport. Now I'll come over to my iPad and type in that identifier, Charlie Lima Lima. So their weather frequency is going to be 126.85. Go over there, get that all set up. Winds right now are reported 040 at 7 knots, not too shabby at all. So odds are I will probably be using runway 11 unless it is still closed. If it's still closed, they may be using 35. So we will find out when we listen to our weather. Looks good. CHT is a little higher than I wanted to see today, so I'll be keeping an eye on that. Pull my RPMs back just a little bit and enrich in that mixture a little bit more too and see if I can bring that back down. 
Already coming down, so let's bring those RPMs back up and see if we can get it to keep dropping faster. Perfect. So, interestingly enough, it is 56 degrees up here right now, and normally if I was faced towards the sun, I would not be cold in the slightest. I am a little chilly, so I am going to turn my heater on. Uh, yes, my 54-year-old airplane has a heater, but no air conditioning, so that's actually really nice, especially this time of year. Uh, everything is looking really good, though. We're actually making really good time. Right now it says 27 minutes till we get to our destination, so we may just end up staying at 4,000 feet, which would be fine. The winds aren't too shabby down here, so. Now you guys are probably wondering, why am I going and doing this $100 hamburger? And honestly, there's a few different reasons. I always love being able to support small businesses, so the fact that this airport does have a restaurant actually on the airport, you don't need an Uber, you don't need to borrow the courtesy car, you don't have to have a friend come and pick you up. You can literally just hop out of your airplane, park, and walk over it and have some lunch. So I'm really excited because I have been here one time. And a lot of you guys may or may not know this. If you haven't read my book, you won't know this. But I did used to be a server. That was my full-time job. The one thing that I didn't think about was to check to make sure that this restaurant is open. Um, sometimes these airport restaurants are only open on the weekends, so hopefully they are open. Otherwise, I am going for no reason. <laughs> um, we'll keep our fingers crossed and we will find out when we get there. But regardless, at least I was able to get some flight time in, make a video for you guys. But uh, I definitely should have checked that. <laughs> oh well, what are you going to do? Last call, he's Sir, 6475 Lima, climb to um, VFR altitude 2900. 2900, we cleared into Bravo. Sir, 75 Lima, cleared in the class Bravo airspace, just remain clear of the 10-mile uh, area of uh, Houston Air Continental. Navigation 664. Okay, so, so far I've been in the air for... And five miles northwest down, 4,000 level. That's me. Approach 737 Delta Papa with request. 73 Alpha Charlie, contact Houston Approach 119.7. I'm at 119.7. Houston Approach. I definitely felt that he would ask me to look out for the traffic too, but I guess not. So I have been in the air for a little over 25 minutes. I also spent some time on the ground going through my checklist. So it is time to switch my tanks. I'm gonna turn my electric fuel pump on, roll my fuel selector over to the left tank, turn my fuel pressures in the green, look solid, electric fuel pump off, and boom, uh, fuel pressure still in the green. So awesome, easy peasy. Well, that's awkward. I don't even know what I just said, but if you heard it, put it in the comments. All right, so I've got my ATIS frequency in. Let's just go ahead and see if we can pick up our weather yet. It may not come through. There we go. Wind zero three zero at eight, visibility one zero, sky clear. Tip to one six two point three, altimeter three zero three two. ILS Pro Journal three five eight. Haha, I was right. One one two nine close. Advise just continue for information, Charlie. Charlie. Switch our information, Charlie. Time 1653 Zulu. Wind 030 at 8. Visibility 10. Sky clear. Temperature 16. 2.3. Altimeter 3032. ILS Pro Turnway 35 in use. Notice the airman runway 1129 closed. Advise and discontinue for information, Charlie. Perfect. So. Information Charlie, 3032 on both my primary and my backup. November, contact Houston approach 134.3. 124.3 for 3 in November. 134.3. 134.3, 7, November, have a nice day. Perfect. Do you have a special map number? No, we don't have anything for you for Portland, Mike. Good morning, approach, Cherokee 773 in November, checking in 4000 with information, Charlie. Cherokee 773 in November, Houston approach, good morning, altimeter 3032. Expect the visual approach 35 at Eastwood, unless you try to estimate approach for us. 3032, and no, the visual for 35 is perfect for 3 in November, thank you. 
excellent. We are basically on almost a straight in for that runway, which is awesome. So we have 19 minutes till we get to our destination. Airspeed's still looking good. All gauges are still remaining in the green. This has been an easy, easy flight so far. I think in total I have made three radio calls. <laughs> so I'm not complaining, which is pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, I'll probably be starting an initial descent here soon. Traffic pattern altitude for this airport is going to be 1,300 feet. And tower and ground frequency I'll go ahead and put in as I get a little bit closer because I might have one more approach frequency to switch to. Houston, uh, four lane like we're currently on a station now. Uh, we're going to be for the Mamay weather, maintain 4,000, and advise prior to any altitude changes for uh, traffic events. Well, this is probably one of the easiest flights I have ever done. I mean, airplane is running beautifully. I've got a pretty decent airspeed, 135 miles per hour. I haven't had to deal with any traffic. I think I've made a total of three radio calls this entire time. This is awesome. I am so stoked. <laughs> November 3, November 7th, 12 o'clock, 900 miles out to the right, and there's a Cherokee uh, at uh, 3,500 vehicle. Roger, I'll be looking. Thanks for the heads up. Free in November. I jinxed myself. I 100% jinxed myself. I was just talking about how I hadn't had to deal with any traffic. <laughs> Can't make this stuff up, man. I tell ya. November 5A Whiskey contact approach. Don't see him yet. 500 feet below me. I think if he said it's a Cessna. Going about 100, so not going super fast. And they should be to my right. We'll keep an eye out for him, no big. He beat me. He saw me before I saw him. That's so lame. Dang it. I wonder if other pilots play this same game, because I literally always try to race the pilots to see who can see traffic first. If you do that, let me know, because it might make me feel a little bit better. I don't know. You know, doing all this extra flying and stuff, sometimes it can get tedious, it can get a little boring. So it's always fun to, you know, create a short little game with yourself or something, right? So that's what I like to do, to stay occupied and have a good time. Of course, I listen to my tunes when it's safe to. I dance around a little bit, get my exercise in while I'm sitting in the cockpit, all that jazz. I just can't get over how easy of a flight this has been. Like, this is absolutely incredible. And it is a gorgeous day to fly. And boom, there he is. Nice. Approach Cherokee 773, November has traffic and sighting a factor. That's right, November, I just uh, gonna maintain uh, 2,000. You said maintain 2,000 for November. All right, altitude select down to 2,000. We'll descend at 500 feet per minute. Pull a little bit of that power back. Slightly enrich in that mixture here. And then just keep an eye on everything. So far, so good. Odds are he's going to be my last frequency before tower, so I'll go ahead and put that in, 118.5. And then after I switch to tower, I'll put ground in, which is 128.7. Excellent. Now I have to sneeze. Excuse me. <laughs> Perfect. Houston approach, Sears 96 Lim Sears, check it in at 6,500. We'll be on the ground in a little less than 10 minutes, so, so far so good. Got a little fast there, so I'm going to pull some of those RPMs back out. Beautiful. We've already listened to our weather. We're basically coming in on straight in 3-5. Beautiful. I 
I can see where the field's supposed to be, but I can't quite see the runway yet. But that's okay. Contact Houston City, 134.8, uh, cap 4233, Roger. Southern Ray Delta, contact Gray Approach 134.35. 3435, good It's officially time to come into land, so if you've been enjoying the video so far, maybe hit subscribe so that you don't forget. And let me know in the comments right now, what food would you be willing to spend 100 bucks on? I need to know, because I just might do it. November 3, November traffic, two, uh, moving three o'clock, two and a half miles southbound, out to the indicates 2,700. Uh, Roger, looking for the traffic for 7738 November. Okay, he's no factor. He already turned around. So that's one thing I don't think a lot of people realize, even though I am on an instrument flight plan, because it is bright blue skies and sunny, I am still responsible to be looking out for traffic and just be looking out the window when I can. Now, if we were in complete clouds, ATC would be giving me a lot of a, a lot different of an advisement with this traffic, and they would be the ones to move me around because they know I can't visually spot the different aircraft. This time, not a big deal. So if you didn't know, now you do. We do have another guy that's going to be 400 feet above us. Looks like he might be in a descent, so I'll be keeping an eye out for him as well. And part of the reason why I enjoy flying on an instrument flight plan so much is because I do get to work with ATC the entire time. Now, if you are a VFR pilot, you just have your private pilot license, um, you can still get like VFR flight following too. Additional traffic, one o'clock, one mile westbound, up to the NHS 2500. They appear to be in a slow descent. If you don't have that track, it just turned up in the 270. I don't know what they're doing. Roger, I will turn to heading 270 and I'll be looking for it for 773 in November. Thank you. All right, so we're going to detour a little bit, turn to heading 270, and just be looking out for that traffic. Of course, in a turn, it's a lot harder to see, so we'll wait till we level off. But like I always say, guys, ATC is your friend. They are there to help you. So if you need something, don't be afraid to ask. The worst thing they're going to do is say no. In an emergency, they're not going to say no. They're going to help you in any way that they can, which is awesome. Good morning, I'll tell you, 77 Gulf Houston approach, call the station, I'll tell you, 3032. Okay, so he should be behind me, 500 feet, three, and I got the traffic. Now for three, kind of four o'clock, and uh, still less than a mile, still westbound, that's an indicates 2,400. Roger, I've actually got the traffic in sight for 773 in November. 3 November, Roger, you proceed back direct to Easterwood at your discretion, advise the report in sight. Roger, I'll proceed direct to Easterwood, my discretion, and I'll advise when I get the field in sight. 3 November, thanks. Okay, back to direct college station, back to nav mode, autopilot's still looking good, and just keeping an eye on that other aircraft. Everything still looks good here. Don't want to lose him. This actually got me basically on a straight and final for 3-5. I still don't quite see. Okay, he's gonna cross above me by 500 feet. All right. So that should be the field. Need my sunglasses, this glare is killing me. Approach Cherokee 773 in November, I've got the field in sight. November 3, November, cleared visual approach at 35 at uh, Easterwood. Cleared visual approach 35 at Easterwood, 3 in November, thank you. November 3, November, no problem, contact Easterwood Tower 118.5, you have a good day. Over to Tower, you do the same, thanks, 3 in November. Good morning, Easterwood, Cherokee 773 in November, checking in. Okay, 
Cheyenne, Cherokee, 77 seven and uh, 3 November. East with Tower, runway 35, you play to land. Wind does 0, 3, zero at 8. Clear to land 35, thank you for the wind check, 3 in November. Easterwood Tower, Sportsman 76 South Kilo, holding short of 35, ready to go. Okay. I'm gonna turn my heading to 350. And down to traffic pattern altitude. Watch your fuel pump and landing light are already on. Mixture is full rich, and I'll do my flaps as necessary. One two eight point seven, perfect. Just double checking my frequency while I have a quick second. Overall, this flight was a little less than an hour, so we made really good time, even with a headwind. Runway is in sight, feeling good, everything looks amazing, perfect. speed up a little bit because I can see there is an airplane holding short so I'll try to get out of their way as fast as I can. Do have an airplane taking off, but they should be no factor. Looks like they're flying straight out. Ooh, it's a little bumpy over here. Nice. There's our traffic pattern, and we're about four miles and some change. Perfect. Almost like I know what I'm doing. Excellent. So let's pull those RPMs to 18. Gonna crab a little bit to the right, it looks like, which is fine. Bringing that airspeed down into my safe range for my first notch of flaps, which will be 10 degrees. Airspeed's 109. Looks good. Perfect. A little bit of back trim here. Getting my electric trim on my control yoke. And that traffic did not fly straight out, but they should be no factor. As you can see, we are seconds away from touching down on the runway, but just a friendly reminder, the video's not over yet, so don't go anywhere. Bird. Stay away, bird. There's one, there's more, so I'm looking closely. Second notch of flaps. And continuing to slow down. Gonna be a little bumpy over these trees. No big deal. There's no Pappy or Vazzy here. Tower, Skyhawk 1232 Golf, approximately 11 miles west of the airport. Information Charlie, a request to enter the pattern for a full stop landing with a taxi back to the active. Little bit more back trim, little bit of left rudder. Number uh, 1232 Golf, Squawk 5330. And just continue your mount for the left base runway 35. Give me a call when you're three out. Squawk at 5330. Three, we'll continue in. Lap zero, keeping that back pressure back. Uh, one, two, three, two, go. 
In November 6, Alpha Kilo, Fix Exchange Proof, you can kind of, you're looking for flight file on Houston side, 134.3. Perfect. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. You too, sir. Thank you. Uh, 3, 8 November, just go ahead and, uh, are you going to be a taxi back? I am actually headed to the restaurant for a $100 hamburger, please. Okay, just continue on the runway and make the right turn on Taxiway Bravo and contact ground on 128.7-127. Roger, I'll continue on the runway, turn right on Bravo and then contact ground 3 November. Thank you. Looks like Bravo is going to be this next one up here. No cheating, but can you guess how wide this runway is? Put it in the comments and I'll like those that get it right. Hard to tell with the sun. There we go. Perfect. Actually, fuel pump landing light off. Switch to ground. Good morning, Easterwood Ground, Cherokee 773 at November on Bravo. Like to taxi over to the restaurant, please. Cherokee 773 at November, Easterwood Ground, taxi into the ramp ahead to your left. Ahead into my left for 3 at November, thank you. Okay. So things are definitely a little bit different than the last time I was here, but there is a guy running this direction, so I don't know if he's running for me <laughs> or not. He is perfect. We're gonna follow this guy and his cute little golf cart. It is huge. <laughs> awesome. Feel bad I made him run. Nobody likes running. Now the last time I was here was actually December of 2021 and during COVID-19, there wasn't a whole lot of people coming to the restaurant. So they actually let you park right in front. Clearly today, that is not the case, but that's all right. We need the steps anyway. If you didn't know, anytime an airplane comes in to land and there's a line guy, they will chalk the airplane. But I also put my gust lock in because I know it's a little windy. I'm gonna lock up the plane and then it's time to finally go to lunch. Okay guys, so we made it. I am about to walk over to the restaurant and find out if they are open. <laughs> um, it says online that they are supposed to be open seven days a week, but we will find out together. So here we go. Thank you. Where are you flying from? Um, I'm just from Sugar Land, oh, okay. so I'm just filming a quick video going to the right. restaurant here. All right. All right, we made it. They are in fact open, so let's head inside and get our hundred dollar hamburger. I'm gonna be honest with you. Hi. Thank you. Bacon cheddar burger, for sure. Cooked medium, sweet potato fries. Gonna be delicious. Howdy, uh, welcome to Get 12 Bar and Grill. My name's Bear, I'm gonna be your servant today. Thank you. Uh, can I get you anything other than water to start? I'm just gonna keep the water for right now. Okay. But I think I already know what I want. Oh, excellent, all right, what can I get you? I am here for the $100 hamburger. Yes, ma'am. Here you go, ma'am. Bacon and cheddar burger with sweet potato fries. Thank you so much. Anything else I can get you? Any condiments on the side, anything like that? No, but I want to give this to you. Thank you for my $100 oh. hamburger. Oh, of, of course. That, that's too much, way too much. But no, I, it's I really not. appreciate it. Absolutely, this is the $100 hamburger. Yes, Everybody yes, talks it about yes, it. Yes, it <laughs> I'm so excited. Let's see if this was worth 100 bucks. Look at the bacon. I don't even know where to take a bite. Okay, let's just do it, here we go. I have to be honest, this is one of the best bacon cheeseburgers I have ever had. It was delicious. 
but the look of gratitude on my server's face when I handed him that $100 bill is a moment I'll never forget. Definitely worth it. Now that is a $100 hamburger. Delicious. So there you have it guys, my version of the $100 hamburger. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, and let me know which airport and restaurant I should check out next, and I'll see you soon.